Hello. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Becca, and this is Becca Reads, my video series where I read children's books. And since I had quite a few Madeline books growing up, today's book is another Madeline book. Madeline's Rescue by Ludwig Bellamins. Not entirely sure I said that last name correctly, but all I can do is try my best. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, with twelve little girls in two straight lines, they left the house at half past nine in two straight lines, rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Poo poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel until the day she slipped and fell. Poor Madeline would now be dead. But for dog that kept its head, and dragged her safe from a watery grave. From now on, I hope you will listen to me. And here's a cup of chamomile tea. Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Good night, good night, dear Miss Clavel. After Miss Clavel turned out the light, after she left, there was a fight and about where the dog should sleep that night. The new pupil was ever so helpful and clever. The dog loved biscuits, milk, and beef. And they named it Genevieve. She could sing and almost talk and enjoyed the daily walk. Soon the snow began to fly. Inside it was warm and dry, and six months quickly passed by. When the first of May came near, there was a nervousness each year. For on that day there arrived a collection of trustees for the annual inspection. The inspection was most thorough, much to everyone's sorrow. Tap, tap. Whatever can that be? Tap, tap. Come out and let me see. Dear me, it's a dog. Isn't there a rule that says... Dogs aren't allowed in school. Miss Clavel, get rid of it, please, said the president of the board of trustees. Yes, but the children love her so, Pl said Miss Clavel. Please don't make her go. I dare say, said Lord Cookafis. I mean, it's a perfectly disgrace for young ladies to embrace this creature of an uncertain race. Off you go. Go on, run, scat. Go away. And don't come back. Madeline jumped on a chair. Lord Cookafess, she cried, beware, 
her! Miss Genevieve, noblest dog in France, you shall have your vengeance! It's no use crying or talking. Let's get dressed and go out walking. The sooner we're ready, the sooner we'll leave. The sooner we'll find Miss Genevieve. They went looking high and low. And every place a dog might go. In every place they called her name. But no one answered to the same. The gendarme said, we don't believe we've seen a dog like Genevieve. Hours after they started, they came back home brokenhearted. <sighs> oh, Genevieve, where can you be? Genevieve, please come back to me. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Something is not right. An old street lamp shed its light on Miss Genevieve outside. She was petted and she was fed and everybody went to bed. Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Good night, good night, dear Miss Clavel. Miss Clavel turned out the light and again there was a fight. As each little girl cried, Genevieve is mine tonight. For a second time that night, Miss Clavel turned on her light, and afraid of a disaster, she ran fast. And even faster. If there's one more fight about Genevieve, I'm sorry, but she'll have to leave. That was the end of the riot. Suddenly, all was quiet. For a third time that night, Miss Clavel turned on the light. And to her surprise, she found that suddenly there was enough hound. to go all around. I do hope you enjoyed the book. Thank you for listening.